Hi guys. Kelly asked if I would um, mind doing a little video of how I cut out images. And I said sure. There's nothing fancy to what I do, so I don't know how many tips or tricks I'll be able to give you. I simply use um, short, sharp, fine tip scissors. I use the Cutter Bees from EK Success, but any fine tip scissor works great. Um, when I know I'm going to be cutting out an image, um, I tend to use the Copic Express It cardstock. Out of the two that I like, between it and Paper Tray Ink, this is a lot thinner than Paper Tray Ink, so uh, it cuts a lot easier. Um, okay, I'll get started. I've got a little, little, little willow colored up and ready to go, and I guess my big, deep, dark secret is out when I know I'm coloring something up. I'm not very careful about staying inside the lines because I know I'm going to be trimming it all out. Uh, so, yeah, I'm a messy uh, colorer. Um, okay, so usually when I have an image like this, if there's any tight little curves, that's where I kind of attack it first. And we'll just start cutting. Um, this way, um, you're leaving... Um, some cardstock on the outside that's going to stabilize it a bit as you work inside this curve. And it's just taking out little pieces as I go, not trying to get it all cut in one fell swoop. much I'm going to chat during this one just because probably be one of my longer videos. I'm not going to run out of things to say, but if I think of something while I'm cutting, I'll let you know. Otherwise, I'll just get to town here. Okay, we got the inside of that. Now, um, I hit the outside and it just makes it that much easier. I think lots of little cuts is what you'll see from this. And I always try to cut towards an ending point instead of trying to round that corner there. You'll just get a cleaner look. I also tend to, especially if it's got really skinny little necks, I'll wait and leave those until closer to the end so that I have a lot of the excess cardstock and then weight um, that would be pulling on it um, gone by then. Now this is one totally up to you with that little space um, that this eyelash is creating. Um, you could either leave it the white cardstock inside, um, which, you know, sometimes I would do, and then maybe if it goes onto a, a piece of paper that's a different color, I might use a Copic to color it in to match. But since we're cutting stuff out today, we'll go ahead and cut um, this out. This is where I should have left some cardstock out here, but see how it's kind of 
wobbly now because I didn't leave anything to stabilize it. Always working down towards where they meet. Get rid of excess cardstock. Looking pretty good. Just following those lines. Like I said, I, you know, nothing fancy. I just cut. Nobody ever told me I couldn't, so I just did. I mean, I back before I got into stamping, I uh, created a lot of my own paper piecing patterns. So I paper pieced for quite a few years. And maybe that's where... You know, just the confidence in doing it, I guess. You notice I move the image um, rather than the scissors. Uh, just another, it's more control that way. Um, most of the time, the scissors are staying pretty steady. And all my movement comes in fiddling with the, the image. So now, a um, couple different things to get into these little areas. This is where, you know, you could easily pull out a X-Acto knife. Most times I'm too lazy, and if it's wide enough, I have this little um, hole puncher that I just will punch a hole, and then that gives me a place to get my tip in there, and then I just start cutting again. Tighter places are, you know, get a little bit trickier, but it's just taking the time to do all the little cuts. And the wider you get that space, the easier it is to start maneuvering your scissors around in there. Now this one's too small for me to do that, so what I'll do is I'll look for um, natural lines in the image that I can follow with my scissors, and I just, so for that, this image, it's that skirt, and I just follow it right up into there, and then once I have the image 
cut out and ready to go on the card, I just make sure I put adhesive on the back there and it, you know, pieces the image all back together. And you can't even really tell that it's been cut. So see how I have that, and then just, you know, when I'll put her on, I'll put a little bit of glue dot or something back there, and it's all back together. And when I'm actually going to do the same thing up here, follow this. And since we have this natural line, um underneath where the neck meets the head, I'm going to go ahead and cut through that to get to that space over here. Now, I have this little space here. There's no natural line here because this hair coming over. So, if I want to get at this, I could go in with an exacto knife. Or, I'm just going to this time follow the line of the arm up into there. So then once I piece her all back together, like I said, stick some pop dots back there when I put it on, and it'll hold it right into place. And that's all I do. I hope that helps. Um, thanks for watching.